Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly video update for Wednesday, April the 8th. And um, we had another update today. This has been a very strange market um, and a very gr good market. It's been great for trading. Um, so much volatility and so many things moving around. Uh, so much information coming at us, you know, with everything about the coronavirus and and what that means to the market. Uh, so let's jump in here and start breaking it down a little bit. Uh, we will look at first. Well, let's look at the S and P on the day today. <clears throat> and today we had um, another. This is from yesterday. We closed yesterday. Went out at 26.57, um, and then overnight, and the futures came up here, and just really kind of moved all day long. Notice, see that light blue line right there? That is a voodoo skyline. It is amazing how those work. Look at that level. That 27. This is SPX. 27.60.75. That level is 27.61.12. So, I mean, we come up to that level and missed it by 37 cents. You know, so the voodoo lines, that's why I have them on the chart. They're very, very accurate. Uh, but the bottom line, you know, we rallied uh, most of the day today. And, and as you can see from yesterday, we've been trying to trade this into the close every day. And you get this wild straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down here. You know, we're, we're rallying pretty much all day long and then we flush and then we rip straight up and then we kind of flush down here after we touched the little skyline up there. So, you know, very, very erratic trading. And if you look at the market on close uh, numbers for toss and they're just crazy, they're billions of dollars uh, up or down. And so things are, are very uh, fun to trade, exciting. Um, we've put a couple of butterflies on this week and they have worked within reason. You had to kind of trade them instead of just holding to the end, but that's what you have to do in kind of any market. It's just, they've just been working much, much faster in this kind of market. So let's back this thing out and look at a five day chart, kind of get an idea of where, you know, where we've been. Of course, we have had some super extreme volatility 24 that's 2447 just say 2450 uh 2550 2650 and now 2750 that's 5 days you know that's a long 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 way and that's a big 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 move in fact uh this is the most volatile uh, market that we've had since the Great Depression. We are moving about 5% a day movement in the S&P up or down uh, for the last five weeks. That's amazing, amazing amount of volatility. Straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight down, straight up, you know, that kind of stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy moves. Um, so what does it all mean? Well, again, I'm going to stick with the S&P. And just give a kind of a broad overview here. If we look, now I've got all the voodoo lines on here. Um, in fact, let me clean this up just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let me, I want to take those skylines off um, here on the weekly. And kind of clean it up just a little bit. Basically, what we're doing is, you see this high and you see the low. Now, that's the, the straight down drop that we had from the everything's great, buy, buy, buy all you can, put your mortgage your house, buy everything you can, you know, and we knew that would end at some point, And we all thought maybe it would end down to here and then we would kind of keep going the way it's always done. Buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. Oh, here's a little dip and we'll buy it. And that was certainly not the case here. We just fell straight to, you know. Um, and there was, there, you know, there's a lot of other things going on there with coronavirus and all that kind of stuff. And we've talked about that in depth over the last, you know, couple of months, but where we are now, we are coming back up onto a 50% retracement. Uh, let me show you this real quick. And 
if we go from our high here to our low, notice that's 50% retracement off of the high, which puts us about 2790. We're at 2750 right now. Uh, there's a 618, that's a fib level extension at about 2932, something like that. So, so basically, you know, we are, once you hit here, um, that tends to be an exhaustion point. So what I'm looking for is maybe we reach up and tag this tomorrow and then kind of start working our way back down here. I don't know if we, you know, fall down and come back or if we kind of work her down, bounce back up, work our way down, bounce back up. You know, it's it's really, really impossible to know. It's going to be based on, uh, you know, what goes on with news and coronavirus. But as you can see, um, right, let me get my drawing tool if I can grab it. Okay, right here. Uh, so we might be in for some, you see how this down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That, that might be what we get into. Assuming things are pretty stable. If they're not and deaths keep you know, increasing and more people are exposed, you know, etc. Um, we may be looking at more straight down, but the third, you know, it's up, down or sideways. I think, um, sideways is probably very wide choppy sideways is probably first choice. Second choice would be bad news. When we roll over third choice would be a continuation of this, but I just don't with all of the bad news and all of the other things that are going to be, giving us headwind. I just don't see this thing, you know, going too much further. Now we have the 200 day moving average up here. Yes, it's possible we get up there. I just, I would be really surprised if we get past this one. Um, and if we get up there, I think that's where we turn back. So bottom line, as you can tell, I am not, um, I'm not uh, bullish <laughs> on this market. This is a head fake. It's not going to last. We can absolutely keep going. Uh, but I'm not buying it here. And in fact, the higher we go, I've already got a couple of little shorts on and, um, the higher we go, I'll be adding more hedging and shorting. Um, so there's not a lot to do here, but just evaluate your positions. I would not enter new longs here for, for long term. Now, now, uh, day trading long. Absolutely. Yeah. Just like we saw today. I mean, we could come in here today and all you want to do, if we watch the ticks, all you want to do is be long today, right? And you buy the dips and, you know, you can make money day trading and scalping this stuff. But what I'm talking about is, you know, I don't want to take my retirement account and put, you know, oh, let's buy, uh, you know, a bunch of shares of Apple and Home Depot and Walmart and Amazon. Not at this point. Don't, that's not, let's don't do that. It's not going to be a good idea. Um... And again, we just wait till, you know, wait to see um, if this thing continues and where it kind of runs out of steam. Um, I think the turns might be sharp and over exaggerated like they've been on the way up. So be careful. Remember, tomorrow is Thursday. The market's closed on Friday for a Good Friday and, of course, Easter weekend. So, um, you know, trade light, trade small. I'm not going into the weekend. I've only got three, four positions on. And, um, those are well contained, well managed um, positions with not a lot of exposure. So uh, I'm just, I don't think I'm going to add anything on tomorrow. If I do, if we go higher, I will add more short on tomorrow uh, ahead of the three day weekend. So that is what I've got for you today. Um, again, don't mean to be, don't mean to sound so bearish. I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not as bearish as I am realistic about what's going on with the global economies. Everything's slowed down. There's gonna be a lot of damage done. We're about to see some corporate earnings they are not going to be pretty. Um, so I'm just not expecting good things to come. So I'm going to be defensive until I'm proven wrong, you know, on the, on the other side of this. So, um, again, cash is king position size, small, uh, take advantage when you see the moves and when you can get into, you know, moves, but don't get married to any positions long term here. Um, and with that, that's what I've got. Let me wind it up. You guys have a great rest of the day. Um, have a great long weekend and have a happy Easter. So thanks for the time. I'll talk to you soon.